Hey you doing guys, Zeta here. So today we will be doing an unboxing of Marvel Spider-Man 2 Collector's Edition. So as you can see, this box is relatively big. I will get into the unboxing. I wanted to mention that this Collector's Edition costed me 250 euros as well, so it's not exactly cheap. Now getting back into the box, it's relatively large, right? It's also quite, well, lengthy and it's not that heavy being around uh, four kilograms. Uh, with a beautiful design of Peter and Miles together in front of the box. Uh, on the sides, there's actually a white spider logo. Uh, and actually, I believe it's actually on both of the sides, in fact. And now, on the back of the box, now here is what will be containing all of the information of the contents inside of this packaging. Now, when we pull out the cover, okay, we will be greeted with yet another box that only has a white a spider logo uh, on the very top. After pulling up the cover, we are presented with the steel bookcase of the game, both Spider-Man fighting Venom. The design here is actually quite unique. It has that kind of glossy design, but also matte finish. I really like the distinctive features and the differences. Genuinely makes a very beautiful art piece. And also on this other side of the steelbook cover case, it has a beautiful design of the New York aesthetic. This collector's edition does not come with the physical game disc. Instead, it contains a code inside, which is quite unfortunate in my opinion, since, you know, if you're a collector, you kind of perhaps would want a physical copy. And by the way, yes, actually, perhaps I should mention this, and uh, yeah, there is no game case at all. This collector's edition does not include this. So I don't think it's a necessarily a good idea. Once again, if you're a collector, you're not even gonna get a normal physical uh, game case. So this collector's edition will include of the digital bonuses, right? Uh, first of all, the pre-order bonuses are the items that you can expect, such as Arch Knight suit for Peter, early unlock, including of the three color variants, Shadow Spider suit for Miles Morales, uh, also is an early unlock, that includes, yet again, three color variants, Web Grabber gadgets, early unlock once again, and plus, three skill points. Now, this will include a digital deluxe edition worth of content, and that contains 10 unique suits, five each for Peter and Miles, and of course, additional photo mode items, yet plus two skill points. So Peter Parker's Digital Lux Edition suits are Urantia Suit Apunk Elliptic Suit, a Tactical Suit, Stone Monkey Suit, 25th Century Suit. Now Miles Morales' Digital Lux Edition suits are Encoded Suit, Biomechanical Suit, Tokusatsu Suit, Ajimat Suit, Red Spectre Suit. Now, all of the digital content is out of the way, let's continue on into the physical components inside. Now, we can see here a small piece of paper with instructions on how to assemble the statue by placing the pieces correctly. And of course, we have here the main unit, Venom and Miles. While Venom grabbing Miles' leg, Miles getting ready to punch. Next, of course, we'll have to assemble Peter by attaching this stream of metal material web that you, I can actually feel it's quite very very strong. We attach this somewhat of a on the neck or the shoulder of the venom and of course we attach the pewter itself right on top. Now here's the full look. The statue is quite genuinely is an insane size and definitely has a great way to treat yourself to a 19 inches of venom. <laughs> I also decided to place this statue with my Auto Collector's Edition statues and you can clearly see that this thing is a mammoth. Now the statue has an incredible beautiful design as you can see here every detail, lines and colors. Now I'm actually noticing a little bit weird thing here. I'm noticing an articulation on Miles specifically that's unfortunately quite visible. But if you look at this piece from the distance then you will not notice it at all. The whole thing is made of plastic, but it's very, very compacted and hard. So you should not expect this piece to fall apart anytime soon for many, perhaps even decades, if not centuries. Perhaps maybe that's a little too optimistic, but we shall see. That's it. This is everything that it contains in this collector's edition box. I'm a big, big, big fan of Spider-Man, but I will be quite honest. Personally, this is simply not worth to justify 250 euros price tag. But if you're a big collector, then I can easily see that this is being worth it for you. Nevertheless, this still is an incredible piece. 
So, what do you think of this collector's edition? Did you pick it up for yourself or perhaps you didn't get an opportunity of doing it so? Perhaps maybe you'll try to find a collector's edition now. Alright guys, like and subscribe, see you guys all later and have a wonderful day.